Hello. Hello. Well, that was weird. What? I couldn't get past the screen. It kept telling me that uh, my camera share was only to me. I don't understand what that means. I was, I was getting the moderator hasn't started the meeting. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. I can hear you. I'm, I'm just trying okay, to get my... Thank you. My camera going. Just give me one second. All right. All right. Here we go. That, I see you. Okay, it is 6.31, so I'm going to oh. declare the planning meeting for November 3rd, 2021 to come to order. Debbie, could we have the roll call, please? Chair Sullivan? Here. Vice Chair Sarville? Here. Commissioner Dahl? Here. Commissioner Strauss Boyd? Here. Commissioner Frederick? No Frederick? Commissioner Binion? Oh. Here. Um, City staff Jason Sullivan, Planning and Building Supervisor? Here. Debbie McDonald, Planning Commission Clerk? Here. Yeah. And I received a text from Bill saying he was in Tacoma. And was going to try and call in. So we see him, we see him. Uh, we have a forum, and at this time we take a poll for the next meeting, but that's going to be to be determined. <laughs> okay. Have we even got a month? Is it January or February? Uh, based on current. Uh... Items going on, I couldn't even tell you. Okay. Um, because if there's a change at the administration level, I'm going to have to work with the new administration to figure out what the work plan looks like going forward, and then deal and then deal with the well, and then bring that to the planning commission and the city council at the joint meeting um, for the new revised work plan. Um, we do know that we have. Um, the the housing action implementation grant was awarded, so we know we have that work to do, um, but we don't know what other work is on the table. And also we haven't ex actually accepted the grant. So before starting to work on that, we need to accept the grant so that we're working under the, you know, we're working on stuff that the grant's paying for. So um, kind of with the election, I have more questions than answers right now. So. The best I can say is to be determined, and then we'll, once we see the outcome of the election, um, we'll have to work with administration to get the work plan updated, and then we can kind of get back to to working on things. Right. When is the joint meeting going to be? I'm hoping in February. Okay. But that assumes that I can get... Sufficient direction in January on the revised work plan. I, I would hope that a lot of things would be just continuing without a whole bunch of uproar. I, I would hope so too, and that's my expectation. But I don't, as I said, I just, I don't, I don't know for sure. I guess is a way of it's yeah, it's, it's an unsettled question at this point. So we so we know what we know, and we'll just continue. 
And as uh, soon as I have more, as soon as I have more information, I will direct. I will definitely be emailing that out to the planning commission, um, so that we are aware. We will be meeting next year. We do have we do have work to do. Um, I just don't have a, a good handle on everything right at this point. And you're getting a new planner too. Yeah, I'm getting a new planner in 13 days. And we still, and then we're going to be doing a recruitment for two more planning commissioners. Mm -hmm. Right. And code enforcement, right? Did you get a, did you get a text from Bill Frederick about uh, leaving? Yes, I got an email from him tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's why there's two. Yeah. Bill shared with me that uh, he's going to retire and do some more RVing. <laughs> I wish him luck. Okay. Today. But we have uh, we have a need for two planning commissioners now. Okay. And did uh, the individual I spoke with was going to fill out an application? Have we received that application? I do not. I have not. Okay. And and that also feeds back into what my previous question was: is since they have to be appointed by the mayor. Um, how that all plays out is also yep. an unsettled question. Do we have a new mayor? Uh, are the election results in? The election results are not final. However, however, as of the latest drop at 4 p.m., um, candidate Michael McCullough was leading um, by a couple hundred votes over Neil John over the current mayor Neil Johnson. So well, code enforcement, Jason. Sorry, Craig. Uh, I was going to ask Jason about uh, code enforcement. It is still on hiatus and on hold. Uh, the assistant code enforcement planner position is still unfilled, um, and we're trying to figure out what to do with that position at this time. Right now we will be, right now we're on schedule to present um, a staffing discussion to the Finance Commission on uh, November 23rd um, to the Finance Committee regarding kind of a, a vacant positions here in the, in the division. So that's pretty much all we know right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, in, I'm embracing may you live in interesting times. I thought that was a Chinese <laughs> curse. It was. It is. <laughs> but I'm embracing it as a positive and a challenge. Okay. Uh, as chair, I would entertain a motion to excuse uh, Commissioner Frederick for tonight. So moved. I'd make it moved. Is there a second? Okay, I'll, I'll second. Jessica okay. made the motion and I'll second it. Made and second. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Commissioner Frederick is excused. Approval of the minutes. Uh, would somebody make a motion to approve the minutes for the last meeting? Yes, Craig? I will make that motion. And is there a second? I can second. Yeah, I'll uh, second. May second. Yeah. Uh, any corrections, additions, deletions? So this is Debbie. I was I, actually. I no, Debbie. I was actually here last meeting. It says that I was absent. Yeah, yeah. I was going to bring that up. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, Debbie showed up about six thirty-five or so, right. and, and so she she never got uh, counted. Oh, I made mention of it, I know. I'll get that changed. Thank yeah. you, Debbie. Uh, You're welcome, Debbie. And then I have... Brad? I have one other question. Um, so on the adjournment, um, the motion was made by Commissioner Benyon and seconded by Vice Chair Sarver Frederick. And I, I was thinking oh. that either is Commissioner <laughs> Sarver okay. or Frederick. Okay, I'll get that taken care of, too. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. It was a tie. <laughs> okay, it was a tie. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, no, I missed that. Any other changes? <laughs> Call the question. All those in favor of uh, approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it, and the minutes with corrections are approved. Public comment and concerns? None. None. <laughs> public hearing. Well, I'm now going to open the public hearing on Ordinance D-21-131 Flood Code Update. Jason, would you give us the brief? Yep, I'm going to run through the PowerPoint you know, since this is being recorded in case the public uh, does call in or want to see the video. So just bear with me one second. So you should be seeing the, the PowerPoint presentation now. Do you see it? Yes. yes. All right. So um, just for kind of for the record for the public hearing, uh, this process is to update the city's flood code in order to stay in compliance with the National Flood Insurance Program. Uh, so both the city of Bonnie Lake and its residents can receive flood insurance. Um, if we are not in compliance with the National Flood Insurance, with these having our code consistent with these model ordinances, uh, people will not be able to kind of get flood insurance through, the, through FEMA through the National Flood Insurance Program. Um, so this this uh, last major update was in 2017. We did do some minor addition, minor bit updates in 2019. Uh, this update is in response to a new uh, model ordinance that was prepared on December 9th, 2019, uh, for FEMA Region 10, um, which includes Washington State. And we need to be consistent with the most current uh, model ordinance program. Um, so the, here's a map of the city's uh, floodplain, regular city's floodplain areas. Uh, as you can see, most of them are around the two lakes and the two streams that feed those lakes or drain those lakes, I guess that would be the best way to say it, and also through the Fennel Lake Corridor. Uh, not as much as some other jurisdiction, but there are still property owners with properties um, within these floodplain areas. So um, just to kind of begin with, we did provide this uh, ordinance to the Department of Ecology as we're required to do. Uh, they did review it. Um, they made one uh, small tweak to the ordinance, which I'll get to. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same ordinance that we presented to the Planning Commission back in uh, October. So um, once again, we're updating the area of special flood hazards. Um, we're updating, we're adding a definition for ACS, ACE24. Uh, elevation certificate, ele elevated building, assistant facility, farmhouse, floodplain administrator, and flood proofing. Uh, the, the, fr the farmhouse definition was one that was in the model ordinance. And as you can see, region 10 is a big region and it doesn't really split out the, the different areas within region 10. They just write one model ordinance for that large geographical area. So some of the stuff may or may not apply. And as, as we put on the PowerPoint, here are the definitions for a farmhouse and livestock sanctuary. Um, we really don't have a lot of these here in the city of Bonnie Lake, um, but as I said, because they are part of the model ordinance, we are required to have them in. Uh, here are some definitions related to substantial, defini substantial de definition um, what, that was added. Um, one thing that was added to not to residential construction uh, was we didn't have any language in there regarding the unnumbered A zones. So a lot of the A zones have a number or they're like AE, but there's a few ones that are unnumbered, which means the base flood elevation hadn't been established. And there was some language in the model ordinance that Ecology wanted us to, that required us to add, which basically said that if you're in an unnumbered A zone, your, uh, and you don't go through the whole process of establishing the base flood elevation, your, um, your, you're assumed to be, you have to be a, but above the, the, the highest adjacent grade. Um, so that would be what was added but at the, requ well, at the requirement of the Department of Ecology. We added def definitions of appurtenant structures. Um, uh, critical areas report were the same, uh, except we did require the ACSE standard as, as required by the model ordinance. 
Um, and we had our public hearing tonight. Uh, this ordinance based on the Planning Commission's recommendation will be presented to the City Council, uh, CDC, and then to uh, the City Council Committee. So I can answer any questions or, um, you know, be able to, to respond to any questions that you may have. Craig? Yeah, Jason, I know it got asked at the last meeting, but was there ever a determination of the uh, current cost per thousand or under the three ball? Um, there was, and I don't remember the number that we provided. I'd have to look through the code. Um, let me see if I can pull something up. Is there a difference between the farm and the home insurance? I just can't remember if there is or not. There's not a difference between it. I think it was just some additional um, provisions related to farmhouses, um, mainly related to protection. And like for the stock sanctuary was making sure that there is a stock, a stockyard sanctuary so that the animals can walk out of the floodplain within a flooding area. I think it was more of a protection issue um, than it was of different insurance rates. Any other questions? Nope. Then at this time, I'm going to close the public hearing for ordinance D21-131 blood code update. And we have a motion to make to approve this, and I believe it's in the packet. So would somebody make that motion? Yeah, Craig? Yeah, I'll make the motion. Um, I'm going to, let's see, recommend that the City Council approve Ordinance D21-131, amending City of Bonnie Lake Flood Code. Okay. Is there a second on this motion? I'll second it. Okay, Brad makes a second. I second okay. it. Yeah. Any discussion? Any questions, answers? I had one question for Jason. The um, when the farm has to put a one foot above floodplain sanctuary, is there anything in that ordinance or the federal code that instructs how to build something like that? No. They'd have to employ an engineer. And as I said, we really don't have any farm areas or sanctuary, you know, that would that we would be using that for. Uh, most mm -hmm. of the properties that have properties in the floodplain are really small R1 properties. Um, so it wasn't something that we spent, I'll be honest, we spent a lot of time um, pondering um, because of the low probability that would actually occur in the city. Well, Craig, I I'll be honest. Well, oh, go ahead, Debbie. Well, I was just going to say that what we do with where my horses are at out in Wilkeson is that um, we have every little pasture area has a hump basically um, where if you needed to that they could stand and it's a you know it's probably you know 15 feet in diameter and I mean most people wouldn't even notice it but they could stand on that if they wanted to get out of the mud and stuff so that's what we did we built it up with sand and gravel and dirt and compacted it and that's for us, that's how we do it, so that if they should need to, they can get up and out of that. So I don't know that that's a regulatory or anything else. That's just a common sense thing that we've done for the horses, so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You didn't have an engineer. <laughs> I just said uh, she didn't have an engineer uh, to design that or anything. It just brought no. some soil. And, and, I don't, and I don't think there's a lot in the sense. code except that that it has to be there and it has to be able for the animal to 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 um walk up onto it because all it just says is elevated areas for the purpose of creating a flood sanctuary are allowed livestock sanctuary shall be sized appropriately for the number of livestock and elevated sufficiently to protect it so typically if it would be once you know it would be a a, a dirt mound Kind of a, a little small hill, one foot above the floodplain, ele base flood elevation. So it looked like a, like like what Debbie's describing out in the pasture, kind of a raised hump out there that animals could walk up onto if they wanted to. I don't think there's a lot of 
real thought and design into exactly what it would look like. Probably big enough to take the herd. Yeah. So, you know, if you have one horse, it'll be really small. If you have a, if you're out in rural Idaho in the floodplain and have a, a ranch with, you know, hundreds of cattle, I think it would be a different, more substantial project than if you're anything that we would see here in the city. Okay. We have a motion. Is there any further discussion? Call a question. All those in favor of the passing ordinance D21-131 blood code update to the council, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it and the motion passes to the council. Old and continuing business. Uh, we don't have any right now. Yeah. New business. None. Before we really go to the order, correspondence. None. 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 Staff comments. I just, I just want to say thanks for the Planning Commission for all the work over the last couple of years, especially as we sat in this video version of Planning Commission. Hopefully, you know, next year we'll be able to kind of meet in person. That's, that's, uh, that's my hope. Um, and, you know, hopefully we'll get some more normalcy back on the Planning Commission. I kind of feel sorry for commission, for, for Jessica. Uh, she kind of came in at the tail end of this and, for a long time, it was pretty stable, and we kind of just did our thing every Wednesday night and kind of moved through things. So uh, we'll get back to normal, and we'll get a better ideal of kind of the work plan. Um, we do have a lot of exciting work that needs to get done over the next couple of years, so that is, that is you know, something to look forward to. Uh, it's just a matter of kind of now, uh, you know, kind of planning that work out. So, um, and if you know anybody that's interested in serving on the Planning Commission um, and lives – lives within the city of Bonnie Lake, please have them go online and fill out the form and, you know, we'll take it from there. Yep. Commissioner comments. Anyone? I have one. Um, I, and I already talked to uh, Debbie McDonald about this, but uh, I noticed that uh, uh, we didn't get paid again last month. Whoa. <laughs> Did I ever get to sign the timesheet? <laughs> that, happened one time. <laughs> that happened one time and it was on me i forgot to sign the time sheet because usually debbie hands them to me right in the middle of the meeting and i sign them was it was it did debbie do, did they get all squared away or is there something that we need to do on my end i think i need to give you both time sheets i don't know if that last one was in or not so well, I'll get it figured out tomorrow morning and send you an email that they're okay. ready to find, okay? All righty. Be happy you can connect, uh, consider this your Christmas bonus. <laughs> <laughs> the trips to Vegas. That would, be my, that would be my other comment to uh, Merry Christmas and, and Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy New Year, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that. Yep. Yeah. And as soon as this, and as soon as I have some dates, I will send those out, and I will hopefully have something for you in early December, so you can begin to plan your schedules into the new year. So, thank you. Thank you all for making a wonderful year out of this insanity, and <laughs> hopefully we will see you next year. Uh, motion right. to adjourn. So moved. So second. I'll second. Okay. Perfect. That's fine. <laughs> Motion made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. The Wait, ayes have it. <laughs> I think that was a I think that was a uh I think that was a glitch in the software, Debbie, not a person. <laughs> Okay. I think it was a spontaneous exclamation. <laughs> spontaneous utterance. <laughs> so, all right. The ayes have it. We're adjourned. I will see you sometime next year. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.